Let's take a look how to add decals on your 3D inflated text generated in Firefly. Also, if you want to check out how to generate this inflated text, I'm going to leave a link in the description and let's take a look. All right, so the inflated text is on the right. And as you can see on the left, we got three different decals created here in Illustrator. So what we're going to need to do is select everything. So I'm going to select all the decals, including this JPEG with the inflated text. And now we're going to go to the object. Let's go down to mockup and select create mockup. And this is going to place them automatically on the image. So this is how it looks. Right now, we don't need this mockup. And from here, I'm just going to select one of them and replace it. And the most interesting thing I want to check out is if I can wrap around this long label starting from the left from the bottom here all the way around. So I'm going to go here to this little square and the rotate and check this out. It is actually wrapping around the letter S, which is quite crazy. You also can scale it down. I'm going to drag this square, drag it down, press and hold shift to isolate. There you go. Now, of course, this is not perfect, unfortunately, but it is great for a preview. I think I'm going to leave it like this. Let's go to the second one. As you can see, it is going to select it like this now, but I'm going to go and double click on the blue stroke text. So I'm going to double click and select now and check this out. And I'm going to position this as well. Scale it, press and hold shift and rotate. I'm going to test it out like this. And now, at least I'm going to select the third one. And as you can see, you can move it automatically without double clicking and repeat the process. All right. So after you're done, you also can adjust the blend mode because right now, as you can see, if I zoom in, the text decals doesn't include any shading. So I'm going to go and apply first on this one. So let's go to the opacity, click on it and let's go to the blend mode and I'm going to change it to overlay. So check this out. If I zoom in, you can see it is transparent and it's applying the shading on it. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Select it, opacity and change the blend mode to overlay. And there you go. And so far, this is what you can do with the mockup option here in Illustrator 2024. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching.